Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, as you saw from the title, we're gonna be doing a full face of Almar Cosmetics. Hope I said that right. <laughs> um, I have her shadow palettes, blush, lip colors, as well as all of the new styles of her foaming lashes. Um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna do a full tutorial on the look as well as try on each of the new lash styles. So I hope you enjoy the video. Please subscribe if you're new, I'd really appreciate it. And if you wanna see how I got the look and how I feel about all the products, then just keep on watching. All right, just so to start out this look, I'm gonna prime my eye and I'm using my e.l.f. concealer as I usually do, and my eyebrows are already done. And for my eyebrows, I used my Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Brow Dew in the Shame Medium Brown with the ABH 7B brush. This has become my new like favorite brow routine. I love how it looks so much. So yeah, I'm gonna put this concealer on and just blend that in really quick. So, I can speak Spanish ish. I know a lot of makeup terms in Spanish from working in cosmetics for so long and working with a lot of Spanish speaking artists alongside me. They've taught me a lot about like speaking Spanish and different words and whatever. So I can speak Spanish, but I don't have the best like accent. And when I hear Gabby like saying the color names and like these eyeshadow palettes and the blushes and stuff, I'm just like, I could never. Like I have, I'm going to sound like a, an idiot. I'm gonna try my best, but don't come for me if I don't say it right, okay? So first shade I'm using is Cafecito, and I'm gonna use this on a Morphe M507. And I'm gonna start off this look by applying this shade in the outer corner. This shade is so pigmented and amazing and blends so nicely. So I'm just gonna start, apply this in my outer corner. You guys know I do this a lot. Uh, it's just the way I like to start out my looks nowadays because I feel like I get the most like intensity and depth by putting down my dark color first. So now that that shade is on, I'm gonna go into the orange and this is also from the first Alamar palette. It's Coco Taxi. And on a MAC 217, I'm gonna start blending this in my crease and kind of starting more on the inner part of my crease first. And I'm not taking too much of this because um, I want to build it up slowly so it blends really nicely. So I'm just doing a little at a time. And like I said, just kind of blending this in my crease. And I'm also going to blend this sort of around the edge of Cafecito to kind of start to blend that out. But we're going to go in with a lot more stuff to blend in that area. Now, once I have a good amount of that on, I'm gonna go into the second palette and take the shade Mambo, which is a yellow. This yellow is very strong, so I kind of just like dabbed my brush one time on each side also. Don't come for me about my nail, I know it's a mess. Um, it literally just popped off when I started this video. <laughs> um, so I'm taking this yellow shade and like I said, just tapping once on each side of the brush to get just a little product because it's so strong of yellow. And then I tapped off my brush and I'm blending this around the edges of the orange. And this is just gonna add a really pretty warmth to the look. And that's really all I want because I don't want it to go overly um, yellow. I'm then gonna go back in with Cafecito and I'm going to start to blend this a little bit into the crease a little further across. Uh, like I said, this shade is very pigmented, so you'll want to be careful when you do this to not grab too much product because it's so dark and it shows up so well that you could kind of like make it take over the look too much and it'll be like way too dark. But I'm just gonna lightly blend that over. It doesn't need to be perfect. And then I'm gonna go into more of the red brown in the palette called, uh, called Guantanamera. And then this is gonna go basically over top of cafecito and blend it into the oranges and stuff we have down. Um, and this is sort of just gonna like tie all those shades together and create like the nice blended gradient between the oranges and the brown. And for this I'm using a MAC 221 brush. Go back with my 217 to make sure that's really blended. So now we're gonna throw on some lid shades. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some Too Faced Glitter Glue and put this on my lid, just like in my last video. I still haven't found my Peaches and Cream Glitter Glue that I actually like a little better, so I'm having to use this one. It's still good, but I like the Peaches and Cream one better. 
See, I'm just gonna kind of pop this with my finger on my lid. This is just something that I've become accustomed to doing now. Um, I just always do this because I want like my shimmers to be popping all the time. So at this point, I just don't even worry about going with shimmers and dry or whatever. I always put a glitter base down because I just feel like it makes everything pop more. And then I'm gonna go into the second palette and take the shade Mojito. And using a MAC 242, I'm gonna press this on the center of my lid. This shade is so beautiful. It's a gorgeous green. And once that is on there, I wiped off my brush a little bit. And then I'm just gonna kind of start dabbing around the edges. You guys know I like to do this a lot just to kind of help it blend into everything else. Make sure it's blended up into the crease a little bit so it peeks through when I open my eye. And then I'm gonna take my favorite shade. I think this is most people's favorite shade too. Um, this is my absolute favorite shade from any of these palettes and it's called El Malacón. I think I'm saying that right, I don't know. And it is the most beautiful light green. It's such a unique color. It is so pigmented. Do you see this? It is so shiny and beautiful. I have never seen an eyeshadow color like this before. Ugh. Whatever she did with this formula, when she was working with her people in the lab to make this one, Gabby, like, that shade is perfect. So I'm just patting that in the inner half of my lid and then layering it a little bit over the darker green just to help them blend as always. And then I'm also going to take my brush kind of on the side and run it back and forth like this to blend the shimmer up a little bit. I swear I could wear this like this color every day and I would just be happy for the rest of my life. So now finally I'm gonna go into the black shade in the second palette, which I, I don't think I'm gonna be able to say that. Caballeros maybe? I don't know. Don't cover me. And I'm going to tap this just in the outer corner to deepen it up. I'm taking such a little bit because this black is super pigmented and just taking a tiny little bit and doing really small blending motions to blend that into the outer corner a little bit just to add a little cute amount of depth to the look. Now I'm just making any little adjustments I feel like I need to make to make the looks match. So I feel like I need to go a little higher with my red color to make sure they're matching. Perfect. Now we're gonna do the lower lash line. I'm taking my favorite black liner. This is the e.l.f. No Smudge, or No Budge, excuse me, eyeliner in the shade black. If you guys watched my last video, you know that I got the brown one, and the brown one is not good. It's literally awful, which is so weird that the black one could be just like so amazing, and then a same formula, different color is like so bad. It's weird. I'm applying that on my waterline and a little below, and then I'm gonna use a little pencil brush to smudge this out. This is a Morphe pencil brush from the Pride collection. I'm gonna go back in with my M507 and Cafecito, and I'm going to kind of stamp this over the liner, and then blend it down just a little bit once it's all applied. Taking the same brush in Coco Taxi, and I'm going to blend that down as well. And then taking Guantanamera, and that is gonna go kind of sandwiched in between the brown and the orange. Taking a pencil brush and a little bit of the black shade, just out here in the outer part of my lower lash line. And then taking a little bit of Mojito, which was our dark green, and popping that on the inner kind of half, I guess, of the lower lash line. I do this a lot also, as you guys know. Just like to pull some of that shimmer down on the bottom. I think it looks nice. And then I'm taking El Malacón and re-intensifying that on the inner corner and dragging it just a little bit into that darker green so that it all blends. Really quick, I'm gonna throw on some e.l.f. Plump It Up Mascara. All right guys, so the eyeshadow is done and now we're gonna get into the super fun part of this video where I'm going to be doing a try on of all four of the new style of the 
uh, no mink lashes. I'm gonna do a similar style that I did in my AliExpress lash video, if you saw that one. So I'm gonna put each pair on, but I'm only gonna put like one dot of glue on the inner and outer corner of each lash because if I do like the full glue on the whole lash, and then have to change out each pair of lashes. I'm gonna get a lot of lash glue buildup and my natural lashes might start to look super weird. And then also it's just gonna be harder on my eyes and make it harder for me to be able to try on so many different pairs kind of all at the same time. Um, it's gonna make my eyes more irritated. So this is just the way I'm gonna do it. You'll still see the lash in all its glory and see what it looks like. Um, but it'll just be like one little dot of glue on each side of the lash to put them on. Okay guys, so here is the first pair and this is Salvaje and it is beautiful. It's the biggest kind of most dramatic one from the line. It is sort of the same length all the way across, but it's got some really beautiful multi-layers in there. I hope you guys can see that. It's very multi-layered and wispy. So even though they're very big, um, I still love how wispy they are and they kind of like taper. The, all the um, little uh, fibers of the lash, I guess, they taper at the end. So they look really soft at the end. They don't look like chunky. The band was super flexible, as you guys saw. Um, I am putting these on just like I did in my AliExpress video where there's just one little dot of glue on the outside and inside. And even just having that little tiny bit of glue, they were able to bend across and be secure like very easily. So imagine if you had like a full line of glue across the whole lash, you would have no issues in terms of these, you know, really sticking and staying on or coming off or anything like that because the um, band is super flexible. So yeah, these are, like I said, Salvaje and they are absolutely beautiful. I love them so much for a very dramatic look. Okay, so here is the next style, and I cannot say this like Gabby says it, and the correct way to say this style, Rebelde. It's like Rebel. Rebelde. Oh my god, that is the worst. It's bad. Okay, anyways. Um, so this style is very dramatic, kind of like the last ones. Well, not very dramatic, but it's definitely more dramatic than the other pairs. And, but this one has more of like a taper. So it's much shorter in the inner corner. And then as you get to the end, it gets longer. And um, so if you're the kind of person who likes more of like a cat eye kind of look, like you want drama, but you want it to be more of like a cat eye kind of drama, you'll like these ones a little better than the last ones probably because they give you that little wing on the end. They're still very pretty and like multi-layered and they're gonna look super wispy and gorgeous and everything with more like i said of a winged out shape if that's your thing just like the last pair they were easy to put on very comfortable very lightweight the band is super bendy i guess if you want to call it bendy i don't know like it's very flexible and um went on really easy like i said again even though i just have like two little dots of glue so love these as well again giving you that really gorgeous kind of like smoky winged out outer corner kind of vibe is what you're going to get from this style also something to note is that these boxes are magnetic so when you slide it in i don't know if you can see see how it just kind of like huh, i love that it's just such a cute little nice detail it makes these boxes seem like so luxurious Okay, so here is the next style, and I'm not even gonna attempt to pronounce this one because I can't say it. I know I can't do it. But this is the softest style of all of this collection of lashes. So it's kind of similar to Rebelde. Oh my god. It's kind of similar to that last pair I tried on but it's almost like the more soft version of that last pair. So it's a similar cut in terms of like shorter in the inner corner, you got longer in the outer corner. I love how curly these ones are. They're very like a curly lash, which I think is really cute. Um, still super multi-layered, but like I said, sort of like a softer version of that last pair. So it's like that. If you like that style, you like the winged out look, 
Um, you like, like I said, the winged out kind of taper on the inner corner, nice and curly and fluffy, but you don't want them like too thick or overwhelming or heavy looking, then I think this is the pair for you because they're a lot softer, like I said, and they're a little bit more, they don't have as much volume of fibers in them. So they're gonna look a little softer, a little bit more kind of like everyday kind of lash. So yeah, if that's what you're looking for, the everyday lash, this uh, of all of them, I think will be the one for you for sure. All right, and here is the final pair. I did put this pair on both eyes because this is the pair that I want to wear for the rest of the video and that I'm gonna wear for the rest of the day. So this is, oh God, it's almost like they're getting harder as I go and I'm embarrassing myself more as I go. Actually, at, at, at Trevita, I'm sorry, you guys know. Um, I love this pair so much. I, when I first saw her post about these lashes and I first saw all the styles, I said to myself like, this is gonna be my favorite pair. I already know this is gonna be my favorite pair and it definitely is. It's kind of like um, Salvaje where it's a similar length all the way across. It's just very subtly shorter on the inner and outer corner, but it is so like curled and they're not too long, which I really love. So they're kind of like a shorter style, but they're kind of like short, but still got a really nice amount of like drama to them. And I just literally love the way they look on my eyes. Um, they just give such like a smokiness to the lash line. And they have, like I said, that beautiful curl. They're super dark, which I really love. And again, very layered. So they look super wispy. Um, I don't feel like I've ever had a pair of lashes this curly. I feel like a lot of times, especially with synthetic lashes, they tend to have that like really like flat, straight, really fake looking kind of hairs but she has managed to get these lashes in just like this beautiful like curl, beautiful wispiness, beautiful like featheriness, even though they are a synthetic lash, like they don't, I don't feel like they look like a synthetic lash. And I think she did a great job at making these lashes look like mink lashes, even though they are not mink hair. So yeah, love this pair, just as comfortable as all the rest. But one thing I do wanna mention, is on each pair of lashes, the band isn't the same length all the way across. So for example, on Salvaje, I had to cut off the most off of that band, whereas this one, I actually didn't have to cut off any. So just keep that in mind to not cut, you know, just the same amount off on every single pair because they all are a little different. So you're gonna have to cut a kind of different length depending on your eye shape. You're not gonna have to cut the same length off of each pair. Um, you might have to like adjust it per pair. Okay, so now let's go on and finish our full face. So I'm gonna do some blush. And today for blush, I'm obviously I'm gonna be using Alamar Cosmetics Blush. This is the Medium Tan Colorette Blush Trio. Love these tones so much. You've got a beautiful light peach. You've got a medium mid-tone corally peach, which you guys know I've talked about this a million times before. This is like my favorite kind of blush color. It's that color, like I said before, where when you put it on, it just looks like a flush, makes your skin look so healthy and just like glowy, like you were got a sunburn or something, like it looks so good. So I love that they have this kind of tone. And then you get this really beautiful kind of deeper mauve pink, which depending on how you apply, can go really light to really deep um, and give you just, like I said, that kind of beautiful pinky mauve tone. So I think today it's gonna match best my lip and uh, the eyes and everything that I'm gonna go in with the lightest peach shade. I'm gonna use my favorite blush brush, which is the Morphe M554. And I'm just gonna start this sort of on the apple of my cheek and blend it backwards. And as you can see, it just gives you just like this beautiful, like soft, very subtly glowy kind of peach vibe. So they do not have highlight yet. Um, maybe one day they will, I'm sure. So I'm gonna actually just go into the first volume one eyeshadow palette and take the shade La Costa. And I'm gonna use this as a highlight. I've been trying to be a little more subtle with my highlight lately. So I'm really just gonna make sure I hit that on the top of my cheekbone, but not bring it down too far on my cheek where my texture is. Although 
using that Polish Choice stuff, it's like my skin is just completely different than it was like a week and a half ago when I started using it. Okay, we are all highlighted and now let's do our lip. I'm using the lip liner in the shade Dulce. Dulce? Dulce? And this is the lighter lip liner of the ones they have. And this lip liner is so creamy, it's crazy. And then for my lip color inside of my liner, I'm gonna use the um, gloss in the shade Chula, that's super pigmented. I feel like I remember them saying these are pigmented, but I was not expecting that. So this is the lightest one they have. I'm gonna blend it in with my finger. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you can see the full look a little better. But this is kind of how everything turned out. Um, I do wanna say the gloss is very thick and sticky. So I know that they promoted these as a thick, very pigmented gloss. So it's really up to you if that's something that like you're down with or if you're not gonna like that. Um, it's not my favorite. I don't love super sticky glosses, but I enjoy how pigmented this is. And even though it's sticky, it's not like the worst, you know? It's not like the worst stickiest gloss I've ever felt in my life, but it's also definitely not my favorite. But I do love the color. Um, I don't think there's even like a smell no, there's not really a smell to it, which I appreciate so much. I feel like so many companies make, um, especially vanilla scented lip products and vanilla makes me sick. So I appreciate that there's no scent to that at all because it doesn't bother me. All right, but yeah, that is the finished look, full face of Alamar Cosmetics. Oh, I hope you like this look. I literally love everything. I love the lashes, I love the blush, I love their eyeshadow palette so much, which I've talked about before. Um, the products are just so good and I think they're a great price point. One thing I do wanna say about her products is just take a look. The thought that goes into this packaging, like so much good packaging, it makes them stand out. These lash boxes are everything. And you know, the palettes, like just the attention to detail to everything that she does is amazing. And that's something I feel like I have loved since I first started using her products is you can tell that Gabby put so much effort and just into the way everything looks. Um, it's just, I don't know. I just really love that. I think that um, is something you don't always see with all brands that come out with stuff and it's just like basic. And it's sort of like for, if you're gonna charge me a bunch of money, like make it worth my while. Make it look like you actually tried. And that's something I really love about her products is you get a great price, but you also get like a really beautiful, well thought out product. So I love that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching as always. Please subscribe if you're new and I'll see you next time. Bye.